Hey boys and girls. Today we are going to talk about finding the volume of right rectangular prisms. So we've been doing this for the past couple of days. Um, so let's just continue right on with that. All right, so it says, for his junior engineering club, Miguel is designing a box in the shape of a right rectangular prism that can hold exactly 12 one inch number cubes with no extra space. What are the dimensions and volume of a box Miguel can design? And just like we've done this a few times, there's more than one answer for this. So let's think about it. We know that volume is length times width times height. And if we know that, then we need to think, what can we do to make it equal 12? All right, so there are so many things you could do. So if I say two times two, that's four. And I know four times three would give me 12. Okay, and remember length is how long it is. Width is how wide. So it'd be too long, too wide. And then three height. So we're gonna have to put three blocks high. Okay, so it's hard to see it, but Whoa. It could also be very many ways. Um, think of an example that you could do. What times what times what will give you 12? I want you to think of an example and put some numbers in on your paper. Okay, so we're going to turn the page after you make up yours. So you can pause the video if you don't have yours made up yet. And it says, Naomi works at a health food company and she needs to stack one inch protein cubes into a box as shown with no extra space. What is the area of the base? Remember the base is that length times the width, that bottom. So we can look at the base and I see it's four units long and two units wide. So four times two is eight. What is the volume for one layer of cubes? One layer, well I know the bottom is eight cubes. So each layer is eight. How is the volume of the prism different from the area of the base it is sitting on? So how is volume different than area? Okay, there's lots of different things you could say, um, but volume includes height, area does not, volume is in cubic measurements, and area is not, area is in square, because it's two. As each layer is added on top of the base layer, how does the volume change? As you add each layer, the volume increases. And it increases by eight each time, because each layer, we know, is eight units. So let's complete this table to find the volume of Naomi's box. And how is volume related to height? So let's see if we can figure out that pattern. Okay, so we know one layer is eight. We already worked that out. So that would mean two would have to be 16, so it's two groups of eight is 16. Three is 24, four is 32, and five is 40. So if she has one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five layers, then it's going to be 40 cubic, does it say, inches. And what is the relationship here? Volume is 8 times the height. 1 times 8, 2 times 8, 3 times 8, 4, 5. 
Okay. All right, next page, 109. Angela is a culinary artist. She wants to pack the one centimeter food cubes into the container as shown. Culinary artist, that's like a food artist. What is the volume of one food cube and how do you know? All right, let's think about what we're gonna do. So one cube is one centimeter because it tells me that in my directions. Okay, how many one centimeter food cubes will she pack into the container? How can you use this amount to find the volume? Okay, so let's look here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six for my length. One, two, three, four, five for my width. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for my height. So I know six times five is 30, and 30 times seven is 210. Okay. What's the area of the base? That would be your six times your five, so that is 30. What is the height of the container? It's seven centimeters, because it's seven of those units high. Write an expression using the height to model the volume. So if we're just using the height, we know the base is 30 and the height is seven. So the volume is 710 cubic centimeters. And it says, how is it the same as B? They are the same number. Okay, all right guys, so that's what we have for today. Continue doing your best and find volume.